Everybody wants to know how Tuesday's election is going to turn out here in Alabama. We brought in John Gray from Strategy Research to take a look at some numbers. Fox News came out with his own poll this morning. Let's take a look at those numbers. They show Doug Jones with a 10 point lead. And I looked at this and I had to look twice to see if they had the numbers right. John, what did you think? You know, there's really no explaining this, Bob. I mean, they ran this poll December 7th through December 10th last week. And in 2016, across this country, we saw poll numbers all over the place. We don't know what their voter model is. We don't know how many Democrats that they've included. We don't know how many white to black votes, how much of Birmingham versus Huntsville. What we do know is that this is an outlier. In the last week, even polls that previously showed Doug Jones up are now showing Roy Moore up. So this is really an outlier. I even heard a joke today that this is really more of a get out the vote effort from Fox News to make sure Republicans vote. Or to light the fire under them. I'm going to be really honest. I have no way to explain this. Because I haven't seen a poll with this kind of discrepancy. I mean, even the even RCP Real Clear Politics right. average that takes all of the polls we do is running more at about three to four points ahead. This is a combination of a dozen different polls. That's more four points ahead. This is Jones 10 points. That's a 14 point flip. I don't know. I think somebody's trying to send a message, honestly. Well, let's look at the poll numbers that you've run, either with us or with Raycom Media Combination, and take a look at these poll numbers. And you can see at the last ones that were reported by Raycom Media, there was a seven-point difference with more in the lead. Well, and we've been doing these in and out with the exact same methodology, dating all the way back to the primary, back in July. And you can look here at when the allegations fell and what the results are. Looking back at the 23rd, prior to any allegations coming in, and then the 14th, literally just moments before the allegations, and you watch it fall. And you see what happens as we go through on the 21st, hitting that low mark right there on the statistical tie in that margin of error. And then we start coming back up on the 5th, coming out of Thanksgiving. This is also very similar to what all of the other polls, JMC, Citizens, the colleges. This is what the other polls are showing as well. And this is what we believe typically happens. What others would have you believe is that those lines essentially crossed and kept going down. And, you know, ultimately, it's up to the viewers, the voters. Right. I mean, they know how they feel about things. And when you heard the allegations, I, I generally think that most of you probably stopped and said, do we believe this? Is this true? But then at the same time, after some time wore on and we saw more allegations against Al mm -hmm. Franken, we saw Matt Lauer losing his position over allegations made against him, we also saw the tax vote come down to one vote in the United States Senate. So there's been a lot to happen since these allegations were made. And so I think the viewers had a lot to consider. That generally goes in line with a negative attack. Mm -hmm. It freezes you, makes you think through it, but then you have to start thinking about other things besides the allegations. Now, the Democrats this past weekend launched a big get out the vote campaign. Yeah. And turnout is going to be a key to any election, but especially this one. Absolutely. Turnout could not be more important. We talked about that in the primary. We talked about after the runoff with Luther Strange saying that he could have put so much more money in that Jefferson County area where the moderates in the Republican Party exist, but he didn't. They're not going to miss that opportunity here with the Democrats, but Bob, neither are the Republicans. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Republicans have Donald Trump making phone calls. His PAC put in a million dollars last week. The Republican Party has put in money to the program. Um, you know, honestly, I think people are looking around right now in Alabama in a state that carried Donald Trump two to one over Hillary Clinton. There's a lot of Republicans out there just saying, I don't want to vote for a Democrat. But yet there's a lot of Democrats out there saying we have a chance to win. We haven't had this in a dozen years. This is going to be interesting. We're going to find out. Jonathan Gray from Strategy Research.